Hey everyone, welcome back to The List. A popular Kansas City morning DJ was attacked when she stepped in to help another woman. Now people are buzzing about it all over town. Mitch Weber shares the top three talkers around KC. At number one, listeners of 96.5 The Buzz are still taking to social media to support the station's morning show host, Fendra. She announced Monday a man attacked her over the weekend after she tried to stop him from assaulting another woman. I'm seeing this girl, he's hitting her and he's dragging her by her hair. The KC Stars article didn't go over so well with listeners or the host. This morning, a Fincher tweeted she thought the article made fun of assault victims. An hour later, the reporter Tim Ingle responded by apologizing and said his hat is off to a Fintra for stepping up. At number two, we're done with the holidays and that might mean some of your lights are done for as well. You have that one or two strands right. that don't work or partially work and they're like, Ugh, and you just throw away. Southeast Enterprises can recycle them. Currently, we employ about 170 individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. They've already collected 25,000 holiday lights. I'm cutting the uh, wires off and the uh, no lights off. Are you tired of seeing Christmas lights? No. It's fun to look with Christmas lights. So if you find out later when you're cleaning out your attic or your garage, <laughs> you've got some extra lights, you can always bring them to our location as well. You can find the drop-off locations at thelisttv.com. At number three, warmer weather will help bring down those lights. The plaza lights turn off for the season at 3 a.m. Monday, but it will be April before they're all removed. Each year, every light is tested and inspected for damage. Capital Electric tags and codes each strand so that it goes back up in the exact same spot. Installation begins in August. Now you're caught up clued in around KC.